One of the purposes of meditation is to expand your range of choices. When you're dealing with pain in the body, difficult emotions in the mind, difficult thoughts in the mind, difficult people outside, it's good to have a wide range of skills so that you can handle these sometimes unexpected problems. in a way that's really efficient and they're really kind to everybody involved. Oftentimes we end up making a mess of things because we don't realize that we have lots of choices. We see only one or two choices and neither of them is especially good and you just go with one. But having the breath, that's a place to step back to it and something to work with as a foundation for your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. Just having the breath there, that's an important choice that you can go to the breath. And when you step back, then you begin to see your thoughts and say, well, there's a limitation to this thought and limitation to that thought. How about this? How about that? And so the purpose of listening to the Dharma is to expand your ideas about the choices available to you. And the meditation is actually getting some skill at a wide variety of responses to what's going on inside and outside. So think of this as a process of exploration, and as a range of skills you want to master. So when anger comes up, you don't have to be limited to the choice of either bottling it up or letting it all out. There are ways you can breathe around the anger, through the anger. They give you other ways of dealing with it, so that you don't have to let it out, but at the same time you don't have to keep that angry energy bouncing around inside. The same with lust, the same with greed, the same with fear. There are actually a wide range of choices that you can have when these things come up, and it's good to know about them, and it's good to be able to have some practice with them. So this is one of the reasons why we spend so much with the, the breath, because the breath is one of the main factors that we use to fashion our experiences and our responses to things. And as we stay with the breath, you get to know the mind a lot better as well. You begin to see its perceptions, the way it's thinking. When a certain thought raises the, the stress level, the little needle on your stressometer goes up with a certain kind of thing, goes down when the thought goes away. When you can see that clearly, then you begin to look at the thought. Is this something really worth going with? Because sometimes some things that cause stress actually are useful parts of the path. and other times they're not. So it's good to be able to keep this range of choices in mind. That's one of the reasons why we practice mindfulness, is so you can keep a wide range of things in mind, have them at your fingertips when you need them. Now we go through life a lot more skillfully.